Hi guys, thought I'd do a um, third Q&A because <clears throat> there's a few questions on the second one. <clears throat> so, that looks a bit bright there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. How's that? That's a bit better. And the blind's going to fly over it because of the wind. It's still hot here at the moment. It's uh, 30 degrees here in my room at the moment. 30 degrees. So, <clears throat> okay, let's get to this. Uh, Q&A 2 which were the answers to Q&A 1. Um, a few people left a few more questions, so I'll get stuck into them. Songline Art. Cheers, mate. That barrel knife looks like a Mora. I like it. When was it made? Old or new? Thanks. Uh, the barrel knife... Is, this one's pretty old. Um, I think... Oh God, I can't remember now even... I researched it and it's all in the video and the link to the video is in Q&A part 2 I believe and I recently oiled it and gave it a clean So yeah, if you want to see the video which goes into more detail of this, go to my Q&A part 2, and I believe the link is in the description. Um, my Recluse. Great video, Rob. Do you have any friends that live off-grid out in the bush? If so, what do they do for electricity? In brackets, for refrigeration, etc. And water. Well, um, I do have a friend who lives out in the bush, but he's not off-grid, he's on-grid. He's um, got electricity as normal. Uh, but he does have three massive concrete water tanks. And he's got a pump that's connected to the water tanks. And the hot water system is separate. It's... Um, I believe... So hot water system? Yeah, the hot water system, if I believe correctly, is full. And if there's a power outage, um, you still got probably 12 hours worth of hot water because it stays hot inside the system itself. Uh, he does have... Uh, no, that's right, he's got sol solar water solar heater on the, on the roof, which is black, black piping that the water feeds through and it gets heated up during the day. And there's enough there for, I think it's like two days use. Um, so that basically works out to be similar to a water tank. He does have uh, lots of uh, rechargeable batteries and LED lighting. You know, the motion sensitive ones. I've got one over here. Um, so when he's connected to the grid, when he's got power, uh, he can charge his rechargeable batteries uh, when he's, if there's a blackout or loss of power, he can then use a solar charger to charge those AAA batteries and then put them in the motion sensitive LED flashlight torches. So he's got them scattered around the house. So during a power blackout, you can still walk through the house and they turn themselves on. Um, but the water tanks are massive. Um, I'm not sure how many thousands of litres, but it only takes maybe about four days of rain, four days of rain to actually fill them, and if they're completely full and there's a complete drought, I think he's got something like maybe about four to six months worth of water stored in them, depending on how much you use the water during the day. Uh, do, do, do. 
Okay, Mr. Ozzy Adventure, a great video. I've got a question. One, I know you can predict the future, or can you, brackets, but can we expect any more knife making videos this year? Yes. How cold is it down there in June, July? Not very, but for you, because you're from Cairns, you'll probably freeze your ass off. Uh, he's asking about the temperature because in June, July, we're having another YouTube camping meetup at uh, Peach Trees. Three, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know. How big is a woodchuck's hands? And how strong is he? How far can he throw it? Um, Phantom or... Uh, Phantom with a seven, Phantom of Oz. Thanks, brother. I'll look into the clubs up here. I live in Caboolture and only knew about Pistol Club next to the showgrounds. Looks like I'll need more research. Need to do more research. Thanks again. And yeah, Phantom of Oz. I, I had a link which you've probably seen by now. Jezza, Jezza Outdoors. That knife is awesome. Yes, it is. I'll be custom knives. Lee, that pinky bit had me spit my tea, laughing. I have no idea what you're talking about with regards to pinky bit. Um, I went back and, and had a look at the video, but... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, I'm, I'm not kidding. The window closed because of the construction work going on across the road. I've gone through it. Pinky bit. Mooning. <laughs> Flatmate just woke up. I'm still looking. Pinky, pinky, pinky. No, sorry, Lee, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about there. Oh, wait, hang on. Is it this? Pinky, two of them. And oh, right. you can actually get by without yep. your pinkies. Your little finger. Pinky, little finger. Okay, I get you. <laughs> Mounty 27. Get her up. First time I got onto your channel, mate. Come to think of it, I have heard the name from Funky Prepper's channel. Um, in regards to the Aussie bush, look, it's pretty shit house up in Queensland due to play heat and so forth. Yes. Come on, Scandinavia bush name for the pandas of Whitey Finland, having family from there. I'm just reading the comment because I wasn't sure if it's uh, private or personal, if there's even a question in there, but then I realised it's actually in the comment section, so anybody can read it. So, uh, Manti27. Uh, yeah, Moose, I'd love to come down and do a bit of hunting. Uh, time and cost of travel is another thing, though because I'm saving for a trip over to Europe and the UK this time next year so January, February, March I'll be in the UK and Europe uh, January, February, March 2017 so February will be spent in London and the surrounding areas January maybe throughout the UK 
and march maybe throughout Europe. So that's the plan at the moment. So that's what I'm saving money for. Uh, Malk. <laughs> Cheers, Rob. Good video, mate. I enjoyed that. Thanks, Malk. Um, Songline Art again. Uh, do, 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 do. Cheers, mate. About fucking more. Uh, so. Yep. Just. Wow, it's there twice. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm sitting here sweating, so I better turn the camera off because with the window closed, it turns into an oven in here. But um, yeah, I've got to do a quick shout out to Scott at Wessex Blades. Uh, congratulations on your wedding anniversary for you and Jackie. I hope you two um, have another 25 years ahead of you. And uh, yeah, keep up the good knife work. Alright, guys, that's it for now. I'll leave you to it. See you next time. Bye. Oh, where's that off button? Uh, there it is. Oh, footnote. Uh, Welsh Pepper is here in the country. He's currently north, so. He's been based in Caloundra, which is north of me, um, but this last week he's been down to Gold Coast, visiting uh, relatives who come up from Sydney. So, Welsh Prepper Vic, uh, yeah, we've been trying to have a meet-up, but last week and the week before I was pretty ill, and I'm not yet 100%, I've still got a lingering cough. But uh, I sent him a message today, so... If he gets it, then maybe a chance of a meet up today. If not, uh, we're just gonna have to miss out because he's here for one more week. But I'm booked in for work for the entire week, so I've got no free time. So, yeah, Welsh Prepper is in Australia, and if I don't meet up with him here, I'll definitely meet up with him next year this time when I'm in the UK. All right, Vic, hope you see this message and um, hope us meet up with you soon. See you, mate.